How are your branding efforts affecting your retention? Let's walk through e-commerce branding strategies and how it can guide your customers' expectations while establishing a commendable relationship with your brand. Hey guys, Zach here. Welcome to another episode from Creative, where we help athletes, sports marketers, and athletic business owners learn how to build legacies beyond the game. Make sure to tackle that like button and subscribe to our channel every Tuesdays and Thursdays, where we discuss solutions that can truly change the business of sports. Today, we're breaking down branding for a successful e-commerce brand in two, four parts. What is e-commerce branding? Why is branding for e-commerce important? Reasons to do branding for better retention and sales. And we'll talk through a couple of branding strategies that you may be able to use. Now let's get to it with so much to cover in such a short period. What is e-commerce branding? First, let's define what e-commerce branding is. More than a logo, brand name, and catchy tagline, e-commerce branding is how people perceive and talk about your business personality and the impression left on your audience. And with so many sales, you really have to worry about that retention for future sales. So what is the first thing that comes to mind when people hear your business name? This impression is the unmistakable, unique personality of your business. So with that said, three reasons why branding is very important for your e-commerce store. It is vital that you build an authentic brand for your e-commerce store. Number one, it provides an experience. Have you ever bought those new workout gloves, bought that new bike, and it pushed you to go use that product? That is an experience. The relationship your customers mold with you is created through their experience. Your branding is a way of talking to your customers to make you relatable and likable. People want more than a product. They want an experience and are willing to pay for it. Great experiences can have multiple positive effects such as consumer loyalty, retention, word of mouth, new sales, and even user generated content on reviews for your products. Two, it builds trust. Trust in a company or brand can result in lifelong customer loyalty. A strong brand builds trust through relationships with its audience. And as an e-commerce platform, you have to work really hard for those relationships to keep them coming back and help them lead to future retention. People generally buy from recognized and trusted brand names because of their comfort and status built through their purchase experience, customer service engagement, and consistency of a product's value. Number three, shaping that expectation. Your branding strategy shapes your customer's expectations, whether you realize it or not. With consistency and clarity in your branding, consumers will build an image in their mind that reminds and reinsures them of the product experience. This helps your audience quickly identify and follow or engage with you. Expectations can come in several forms, good product value, longevity of the products, positive customer service, your packaging, and consistency of the company values are just a few. If you're enjoying this content and wanna learn more, don't forget to tackle that subscribe button down below. So let's talk about five brand paths for better e-commerce sales. Now that we've discussed what e-commerce branding is and how important it is, let's look at some paths your company can take to help you increase sales. Number one, we talked about this earlier, improve recognition. Brand recognition is vital to revenue growth, especially for multi-product e-commerce stores. You know a white cup with a green circle is likely Starbucks. A graphic swoosh in any color and in any product is likely Nike. 
Beyond product or logo recognition, brands also sell an idea or an aesthetic. The city of Las Vegas has for years sold the idea of the adult playground. Known for their classic tagline, what happens in Vegas? Potential travelers have an instant idea of what this can mean for them. A recognizable product or brand helps you in creating deep connections with your audience. This connection with customers will help to increase sales. Sales also increases with positive association of your brand as oftentimes a company can find success in selling a dream, a lifestyle, or a solution. So how can you improve recognition? Think outside the box, outside the logo, to find a fresh new way to get your product on a consumer's mind. Number two, enhancing customer loyalty. We've already discussed the power of positive association. So let's take that one step further, enhancing customer loyalty. How can you enhance your customer's loyalty to continue to purchase? Consider where your customer's touch points are. Can you send a reminder email from abandoned shopping carts? Can you determine which customers haven't purchased recently and send them a discount to resume purchase? Can you provide an exclusive offer for repeat customers? How about sending them thank you emails or resharing some of their posts using your products? If customer loyalty strategies are done right and with authenticity, your business will become more popular and you'll get a loyal customer database that lasts for over a lifetime. Number three, this is a good one. Don't sell a product, tell a story. Think about Nike a little bit. One of the most crucial strategies for building a good brand name for your e-commerce business is to tell or sell a story behind a product your customer is purchasing. You wanna tell that story that your target customers can relate to. When they start connecting with their story, they will automatically trust your brand and begin making purchases. It may take some time, but they will. The biggest brands at the top of your mind are there because they've told a story you identify with. Like I mentioned earlier, Nike, just do it. Old Spice, smell like a man. And even Coca-Cola Santa Claus, Number four, reach your customers. In today's market, all the branding in the world won't help your business grow if you can't reach your customers. Branding to the right audience will help your business reach the customers you're trying to sell to. Spending the time to learn your customers' behaviors, pain points, and digital habits will improve your reach. Several ways to increase reach can include email campaigns, consistent ban adders, social media engagement, and how you're talking to them from a value perspective. Maybe some viral content creation or leverage YouTubers or user-generated content with reviews towards your products. Number five, you wanna send a clear message. The fifth path to better e-commerce sales is sending clear messages to all your potential customers and target audience. Your brand or company message should appeal to the target masses so that it is directly and strategically linked to your brand and your efforts to attract customers. Channeling a consistent message across all platforms is equally important. Some questions to consider. Is your website sending the same message as your social media or your newsletter? Does your packaging mirror your brand message? When customers can rely on and connect to a clear and consistent message, you can develop a successful rapport that can repeatedly boost your sales. Finally, it's time to integrate your brand strategy. So here are five quick tips on helping you increase your revenue. Number one, maybe it's time for you to identify your target market. Before you build your brand or revamp, you must be clear about who you'll be targeting or verticals that you will be pushing towards. Determine the following. What sort of people would be interested in your brand? Are they old? Are they young? Are they wealthy? Or do they have tight budgets? Will you want your customers to engage on social media, on blog posts? What solutions does your product offer to your audience? Finding answers to questions like these can be puzzling at first, but once you find that right audience, it gets easier and easier to sell your products. Number two, outline the USP of your brand. The importance of your unique selling proposition, or what we call USP, can't be understated. 
In today's digital marketplace, your business uniqueness will help you stand out in the sea of competition. Your brand USP is one of the major things that will distinguish you and your product from your competitors. It is worth the time to outline a USP for your product. Known as the four P's of marketing, these four factors will allow you to clearly and narrowly define your USP. Get a piece of paper. Start with this. Products characteristics. The price structure, placement strategy, which is the location and distribution, and then the promotional strategy. Don't compromise with customer service. You can't survive if your customers aren't happy. Mistakes happen, but it's how your business responds that makes the difference. Customer service is a considerable factor for 90% of Americans when deciding whether to do business with the brand. Ecom brands like Zappos, Casper, and Warby Parker have cult-like praise for their customer service reputation. A great customer service department can turn any product hiccup into a viral example of compassion and understanding. At the end of the day, you wanna treat your customers with fairness and respect so they'll visit again and again, remaining loyal to your brand. It just turns out to be a win-win for everyone. Tip number four, continue to share your brand story or share it in tidbits over a long period of time. Stories are intriguing and can be inspiring or relatable. By sharing your brand story, you can form an emotional and lasting bond with your customers. Stories can tell customers about your success and failures. They can tell about a hard battle or you can talk about a family legacy. Do not hesitate to share your brand story to let people know about your journey. Building a connection with your audience never comes easier than using your story. Use social media to befriend. Social media is the most simple yet effective method to enhance your brand presence. Nowadays, every business uses social media to market themselves, connect with their audience, and to drive traffic. Having this global audience can give you a chance to promote your brand to the world and at a lower marketing cost. Why wouldn't you use it? Determine what channels work best for your product fit. Leverage that audience. Not all channels will give you the same results. Is your target audience on Facebook or Instagram? Are you caught up on the newest social media channels like TikTok, LinkedIn, or YouTube? Phew, that was a lot to digest in just one video, we know. The world of branding is very vast, but you don't have to get stuck in the weeds or do it alone. You can always reach out to us at creative.com for more valuable information. Branding doesn't have to be overwhelming. We hope you guys loved today's topic. Don't forget to tackle that subscribe button, give us a like. Now this is Zach with Creative, where business is our sport.